Hello Braves and welcome to our second episode of Braves Beat for 2023. I'm Emily Eckert. And I'm Ella Fantady. Ella, are you excited to anchor Braves Beat for our first time ever? Of course, and I'm so grateful to be doing it with you by my side. Aww, I feel the same way. Well, there's a lot of news to cover, so let's get on with it. Winter homecoming is just two weeks away. On January 28th from 8 p.m. to 10.30 p.m., students are invited to enjoy this Winter Wonderland themed celebration. If you are bringing a student from another school, please be sure to turn in the guest form to the office by January 27th. Tickets to the dance are $20 and can be purchased using the link in the description. Speaking of winter homecoming, during the school week leading up to the dance, there will be a Spirit Week competition. Students can participate in the competition by dressing to the daily themes and sending pictures of their outfits to the student government Instagram. Each day, a winner will be chosen from senior judges and will receive a prize. Good luck, Braves! Beloved Brave Street member Hannah Pollock has put together a little something to help our Braves complete their required community service hours. Let's check it out. Welcome to Community Service Corner with me, Hannah Pollock. I wanted to create this segment to help you Braves complete your required community service hours before May. If you didn't already know, freshmen and sophomores must complete 10 hours, while juniors and seniors must complete 20 hours. These can be done through the school or in organizations outside of school. We will go over how to log your community service hours near the end, but for now, let's talk about some of the different opportunities you can do. Our school's Global Cultures Week is coming up. If you want to earn two quick community service hours, come help decorate for this annual tradition after school next Friday, January 20th from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Email Mrs. Gibson at monica.gibson at ihsd.us to sign up. Student volunteers are needed for the District STEM Night on Tuesday, February 28th from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. This is a perfect and quick way to get those hours, so email Mr. Domadeo if you're interested. Looking to work with kids and support a local nonprofit? Well, Pause for Parents is a perfect organization for you to volunteer for. Pause for Parents supports families who have children with developmental disabilities, mental slash behavioral health challenges, chronic medical conditions, and those in foster care. There are many opportunities through this organization occurring this month and next month, which will definitely help some of you Braves complete that community service requirement. Scan the QR code on the screen to check out the community service page on Canvas to learn more and sign up for these events. A 12-hour community service opportunity is coming up. Cancer Free Kids Night for the Fight is an ever-popular overnight high school event taking place on Saturday, February 25th, starting at 7 p.m. and ending at 7 a.m. the following morning. Over 1,500 high school students from over 50 different high schools in the greater Cincinnati slash Northern Kentucky area will gather at the University of Cincinnati Fifth Third Arena to learn more about pediatric cancer, play games, eat great food, play dodgeball, and play group games all in the name of pediatric cancer research. Register and learn more about this incredible opportunity by scanning this QR code on the screen or using the link in the description. Now I know that was a lot of information, but I want to conclude this segment by quickly going over how to log your community service hours after you complete them. All of you should be enrolled in a Canvas page titled Community Service, and on the main part of this page, there is a link to an external site called X2Vol. X2Vol is where you directly log your volunteer hours by including the date they were completed, a verification contact to verify that you actually completed these hours, as well as other necessary information. If you need help using X2Vol, feel free to watch the tutorial video linked on the Community Service Canvas page or meet with Mrs. Mendoza in the library. And with that, thank you for tuning into the Community Service Corner. Let's take it over to the news desk. Wow, thanks Hannah. I don't know about you, Emily, but I will definitely need to look into some of those community service opportunities. This upcoming Monday, we will not have school in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Dr. King was the chief spokesperson for nonviolent activism in the civil rights movement. Through his efforts, King won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964 for combating racial inequality through nonviolent resistance. And he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1977 after his assassination. Interested in hearing from P&G representatives regarding supply chain careers? Well, then come to the MP room next Wednesday during the last half of Flex. 
This will be the first Career Connections event for Experience Ships, so you don't want to miss it. Since this is our first time anchoring, I think I'm getting a little tired from all the snooze. Let's take a quick commercial break. Want to easily take your things on the go? Well, then look no further than a Lululemon belt bag. With its spacious pockets and hand-free ears, this bag is perfect for traveling, running, and even vlogging. If you don't already have this item, be sure to buy it or else you'll look weird with your regular old-fashioned purse. Head to your local Lululemon right when they open tomorrow and beat all the belt bag hungry moms to get your hands on this prized possession. That break was much needed. Thanks, Emily. No problem, Ella. New Brave Seat members Nina and Lexi have a sports report they can't wait to show you all. Let's go ahead and pass it over to them. Thanks, Ella and Emily. I'm Nina. And I'm Lexi. It's been a big week for our Braves, so let's get into it. Starting off with girls basketball, the team has been on a hot streak beating Hughes this past Thursday, Reading on Saturday, and a big win over Cincinnati Country Day on Monday. Caroline Langworthy hit a new PR of 35 points against CCD. Amazing job, Carol. Last night, the girls' team had a great night with a big win over Wyoming and hosted Future Braves night. How exciting. Wow, Lexi, what a game. Give a congrats to Caroline if you see her in the hallways. Moving on to boys' basketball, the team has had a busy week on the court. They fell short to Sanex on Saturday, 57-42, but came back strong to beat Reading on Tuesday and will take on the Wyoming Cowboys tonight in an away game at Wyoming. JV starts at 6 and varsity at 7.30, so be sure to come out and support the team. Coach Hill did another interview with this week with John Potagel and Alex Grace. Roll the clip. Hello, Braves Nation. Um, welcome again to the Coach's Corner with myself, Coach Ricardo Hill. Today, our guests are two guys that you guys are familiar with from different sports. They're both um, multi-sport athletes. We have John Potagier over here and Alex Grace right here. Welcome, guys. How you guys yeah. feel? Good. Good. Thanks for having us. All right. We'll start with um, Alex over here. Alex, how do you feel about our 9-3 and three start overall and 5-1 and one in the CHL? Uh, I feel pretty good about it. I mean, we could easily be 10-2 and two and 6-0 and in the league, but a few points didn't go our way, but feeling really good. Good stuff. What about you? Jim? Yeah, no, it's, I think it's off to a great start. Um, you know, we've got a decently young team, and you know, there's still a lot to improve on, but I think it's, it's best that we, we peak at the end of the season where it's tournament time and make a good run then. Absolutely, no doubt about it. All right, there it is. You got two of the greatest athletes in the school right now, Braves Nation. Um, please come out and support us on three, fellas. We're going to say go Braves. I'll count. One, two, three. Go, Go Braves. Love to hear it, Coach Hill. The wrestling team visited Madeira this past Saturday for the Madeira Invitational and left with one first place finisher and three others making it into the podium. Congrats to Vitali Cristo on his big win. Saturday, the boys are headed to Columbus for a tournament. Good luck. Our girls and boys bowling teams also both took on Wyoming this past Monday. The boys team came out on top and the girls fell just short. Noah Kaufman was also nominated for Boys Bowler of the Week, so make sure to congratulate him and go vote. Yesterday they went head-to-head -head with Taylor and we will have the results of that matchup in the next episode. Our indoor track and field team travels to OSU tomorrow for a big tournament at the Jesse Owens Memorial Stadium. Wish Mrs. Savage and our runners good luck. Well, that's all the sports that we have for you this week. Let's send it back to the news desk. Not too bad for your first time in front of a camera, Nina and Lexi, but I think Emily and I are still superior. Over this past weekend, our mock trial team started off their competitive season at the University of Cincinnati tournament. Ashwini Krishnan, Rhea Kasari, and Lily Waltz received Best Witness Awards, and Joseph Kane and Rohan Katian received Best Lawyer Awards. A special shout out goes to Joseph for snagging Best Lawyer Award in both of his trials. Congratulations, Mock Trial Braves. Thank you, Daniel Chen, for creating such a great video about the big pitch that we all watched during Flex this past Wednesday. The board would love to hear your ideas to help make the school a better place. So make sure to put on your thinking caps. All submissions are due by Friday, February 3rd. Sarah and Lexi had a chance to go around the school and check out some of the students' fashion. Roll the clip. Hey, Braves. Let's go see what people are wearing today. Hey Elizabeth, can you give me a fit check? Sure, um, I got some Crocs. 
Looking Crocs, some um, gray sweatpants. This is from um, Lulu, and this uh, fun jacket. Can I get a fit check, please? Fit check? Yeah. I feel really good. Fit. Like, what are you wearing? Oh. <laughs> Sponsored by Eddie Bauer today. This is a uh, uh, Eddie Bauer like sweaterish type thing. Eddie Bauer pants. Very nice. These are, I think these are Clark's, the shoes. Ooh. So I got my new Apple Watch too. Yeah. Very drippy. <laughs> Can I get a fit check? A what? A fit check. Like, what are you wearing? Where's it from? Oh, Nike. <laughs> um, Nike all day, every day. Give me a fit check. Um, this is from Jazzy. These are actually yours. <laughs> They're from Lulu. Um, my shoes are from New Balance. And my socks are from Adidas. Look at my shoes. 100% plant. -based. They're vegan. Got these from Kohl's. Um, got this from the Nike store. Got these from Claire's. And I went to Macy's for these. No, I'm capping. Give me your fit check. Hi, I'm wearing a turtleneck, blazer, not blazer, vest, boots, um, and I got them from Nordstrom's. Awesome! Yeah. <laughs> wow, our braves are true fashionistas. Is one of your New Year's resolutions to eat healthier? Then you need to try Bar 9. Gluten-free, vegan, and locally made by Mia Fiore's mom. Available in nine different flavor combinations. These bars will be for sale during next Friday's basketball game from 6 to 8.30. Make sure to bring cash to try Bar 9. The Indian Hill Quiz team kept their winning streak live by defeating Marymount this past Monday afternoon. The varsity foursome ran the physical science category to pull away from their opponents and solidified their lead with an outstanding alphabet quiz round to come up with a score of 32 to 12. Next Wednesday, January 18th, after school, the quiz team will compete against this school's faculty for fun. Come to the MP room if you would like to see who's really smarter, the students or the teachers. Help us improve future Bracefeet episodes by scanning the QR code on the screen and filling out the survey. We appreciate all of your feedback. <laughs> Anchoring is a lot harder than I thought it would be. In fact, all this news has made me hungry. Do you want to get some Chipotle after school today, Ella? I would love to, but I'm going to get Corito. Wait, you prefer Corito over Chipotle? Uh, yeah. It's way better. You're unbelievable. Well, that's all, folks. So be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And please be sure to rate this program by scanning the QR code on the screen. And remember, stay classy! <laughs>